Hey guys, Rebel here, back again for another video. Um, uh, I got a package through the post today. It's not my usual pickups. Uh, they haven't arrived yet because it's only Thursday and comics released yesterday. Um, as you can see, I'm just literally just came home um, and got a package through uh, from my good pal, Mr. Vin. Chris, thank you so much. Uh, he sent me a couple of things here uh, and I'm very grateful for them. Um, uh, four items, in fact, a couple of comic books and a special one. Uh, first, he sent me four on Loki Attempt from issue one. Uh, obviously, Chris knows I'm a huge, huge Angela fan. Um, and I said that I've well, I mentioned it in Skype a few times. I want to get one of the, I get the four on Loki original, original sin uh, miniseries because and Angela takes uh, quite a big role in that. Uh, and he, he, he sent me issue one of that. And he sent me issue two of that. And I, th I think it's a six part mini series. So obviously now I've got to get the rest of them. Uh, but I'm so grateful for that. Uh, and I lo absolutely love the covers. Which way does it go? This way. Like issues one and two join up. To form Angela. Like so. Oh mate, that is an amazing cover. I absolutely love it. And I just love Angela. And then he sent me an extra little something. Uh, he sent me a What If? Age of Ultron What If? Issue 3. So I don't know if, if it was just a What If series. Where each series was different. The artwork of this cover looks familiar somehow. Where's the credits for this? No, no, no one on there. Uh, what if Age of Ultron? So that'll be a good read. Uh, I want to know if the rest of the series is about Age of Ultron first, though. Uh, but that'll be a good read um, to read before Age of Ultron comes out. I think it comes out in four weeks today, or three weeks today. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and that's yeah, going to be a phenomenal movie. And then something else. Uh, as uh, I've been getting into like, retro stuff recently. Uh, retro gaming stuff and uh, obviously being a child of the 90s Pokemon games were the the biggest that craze and still are to this day um, I've, I've been trying to get hold of like, the original like uh, Game Boy games uh, in good quality um, and Chris has just given me the original Pokemon Blue which is absolutely amazing um, Obviously, I've got nothing to play them on um, because I don't have a Game Boy. Um, I'm waiting for... I do have an N64 uh, with Pokemon Stadium and the Game Boy pack. Uh, but I'm waiting for a, a part for it, for it to be functional. So when that does come, I'm going to just nostalgia my way out of everything. Um, and play this till like... Just... Oh man, I can't wait to play this. I really can't. Hopefully it still works, because obviously the uh, batteries in the old Game Boy games need to be changed from, from time to time. Um, so I'm hoping that works. If not, I've got to get I've got to send this off to Mr. Newton, who does uh, know how to do that, and then he'll fix that for me. Made in Japan. Hmm. But, for like, you know, nearly a 20-year-old game this for a cartridge like this is in amazing condition like the sticker isn't like worn because obviously when you take a game boy out a game boy cartridge out what you do you wear it away with your fingers so that's why you tend to see like wear on the top of the label which there doesn't seem to be any on here which is great um so perhaps pokemon blue i have pokemon blue i'm really so happy i mean i haven't held this game in nearly 20 years and you know Pokemon games are so rare so so happy so you know I've I got to thank you so much man I, you know I love you to pieces I can't wait for July till I see you um, and you know just thank you so so much man you're amazing no homo so you keep rebelizing those pages um, and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side.